Hello and welcome to Extraordinary Everything. Throughout the course of human history, eternal life has been the subject of myths, legends, and even conspiracies. While there are creatures that are capable of fending off disease to extend their lives, a particular species of jellyfish is the only one that can reverse the aging process, enabling them to live forever. Its name is Toritopsis dorni, and it's also referred to as the immortal jellyfish. The adult form of the jellyfish is called the medusa. At any point during this stage of life, they are capable of reverting back into a polyp. This process is called transdifferentiation. The differentiated state of the cells is altered and transformed into new types of cells. The discovery of this species and its cell development method has already been helping humans. Scientists were inspired by the discovery and found a way to use the same method for renewing dead and damaged tissue in humans. What's interesting about this species' ability is it can reproduce sexually, then revert back to the polyp stage, and then reproduce asexually. So every time this process occurs, the chance of the jellyfish's genes surviving is actually multiplied. It would be quite weird if humans could do the same thing. Imagine one of your parents turned back into a kid and created clones of themselves. Fortunately, jellyfish don't have a brain or social structure, so things aren't as weird as they could be. They do have basic nerves at the bottom of their tentacles that enable them to detect touch, temperature, salinity, and more. Since they don't have a brain, their response to the stimuli is an automatic reflex. They're not even aware of their own existence. Their lack of consciousness stops them from being aware of their remarkable ability and therefore, they don't really take advantage of it. The jellyfish does not choose to revert back to a polyp. It is simply a reaction caused by environmental or physical stress. The transformation occurs when it is sick, old, damaged, or under conditions of sudden temperature change, starvation, and reduction of salinity. Despite being theoretically immortal, most of these jellyfish either succumb to disease or are eaten by predators before they even get a chance to reverse age. In addition, they are only 4.5 millimeters wide and tall, likely making them smaller than your fingernail. For these reasons, their transformation has never been observed in the wild. They are usually preyed upon by other jellyfish, sea anemones, tuna, sharks, swordfish, penguins, and sea turtles, while their diet consists of plankton, fish eggs, and small mollusks. The lives of these jellyfish begin as fertilized eggs within the female medusa. Fertilized eggs will develop into planula larvae and settle on docks or the sea floor. The planula larvae then develop into polyp colonies that will grow and feed. Polyps will extensively branch, creating many layers that develop into juvenile medusae. They will be released one at a time, although they still have some growing to do before they are fully mature. Despite many people being fascinated by this species, only one scientist has been dedicated enough to keep the species alive in captivity while studying them. Shin Kubota is from Kyoto University in Japan. To properly care for them, he changes their water and hand feeds them every day. Over a two-year period, his colony was able to rebirth itself 11 times. Mr. Kubota believes further studying this species can help us understand evolution and some of the earliest life on Earth. Jellyfish are the perfect subject since they are simple creatures and have been around for a very long time. When Mr. Kubota is done researching or giving lectures for the day, he dresses up in his self-made costume and sings karaoke songs that he wrote about the immortal jellyfish. He believes that singing about things makes them easier to grasp, but he's aware that much more time is required to fully understand this species. This jellyfish was discovered in 1883, but its secret ability was accidentally discovered about a hundred years later. Since then, their cell development method has been inspiring researchers, scientists, and especially the field of regenerative medicine. There is no real threat to this species as they have spread in temperate and tropical waters all over the world. So there is no doubt that Turitopsis dorni will remain the only theoretically immortal species on this planet. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.